we're here in part to uh, you know, thank them, but we also want to let them know that the struggle is not over. Tonight, the battle against an oil company's plans to ship crude oil via train is not over. Despite Benicia City, Plan City Planning Commission's unanimous vote last month to reject that project, Valero Refining Company is now appealing that decision. And people who live along the train route voiced their concerns tonight. And new tonight, CBS 13's Sharin Rajay joins us live from the rail yards in downtown Sacramento. And Sharin, this is a debate that has been going on for a long time. Absolutely, Sam. In fact, talks about this issue have been going on for the last three years. And people tonight want everyone to know that this project goes beyond Benicia. In fact, if these trains come here with crude oil, they'll be going through the heart of downtown Sacramento and many other neighboring cities. These so-called oil trains may be actually passing right through my neighborhood, uh, right where my daughter's graduated from high school. Valerie Williams is not the only Sacramento resident who may not have known that these proposed oil tanks would be on railways close to home. The trains are going to be coming through not only downtown Sacramento, but heavily populated areas. There's more than 13,000 students in the city of Sacramento that are within the blast zone, but it would be, yeah, hundreds of thousands of people within that if you start talking about coming down from Truckee through Roseville, downtown Sacramento, Davis. Valero Energy Corporation's proposal would allow two 50-car trains, each carrying 35,000 barrels of crude oil through major urban centers. Valero officials saying train shipments will allow them to stay competitive. And while some argue the fears of environmental damage or potential accidents are over-exaggerated, the risk of derailment or a mishap is real. We mobilized a huge number of people, including folks from Sacramento and Davis, who spoke at the Planning Commission. And that rallying of troops worked. Last month, the Benicia City Planning Commission rejected Valero's proposal despite a city staff recommendation for approval. We're very proud that people are waking up to the danger that a decision in Benicia is going to make on their lives here in Sacramento. And while Valero has appealed that decision, the hope now is... really hope that they take um, our considerations um, seriously um, because a lot of people's lives could be at stake. And with Valera appealing the Planning Commission's decisions, we are now awaiting the next city council meeting, which could happen in this next month. And even though these trains would be going through cities like here in Sacramento, the final decision will be by the Benicia City Council. Oh, this debate is long from over. All right, Sharin, thanks very much. Live for us tonight at the rail yards in 